Hello everyone, this is Stacy Stoop from Elsa Fitzgerald and we are still here at Madison House. Um, I am in the lovely kitchen and I wanted to tell you a little bit about the background of the technique I, I use, which I call painting with lace. And I'm actually wearing the original dress um, that inspired this process. One of my taglines for the fashion house Elsa Fitzgerald is don't overcomplicate it or you will lose the elegance. And yesterday, exciting enough, I got um, a fortune cookie, which I never get a fortune cookie with anything related to fashion, but the line is, simplicity and clarity should be your theme and dress. Um, so I'll definitely be saving that. So come along with me and I will show you the full length of this dress. Here are the two dresses that I have been working on, but right now I'm wearing the original Betsy dress. And if you can look <laughs> closely enough, you can see that there's so many different um, lace panels and uh, fabrics is for, which is what I usually stick to. Um, and so where did the painting with lace process come from? Well, that came from an exhibition that we did and in Baltimore, Maryland at the Broma Salto Tower. And I was watching um, some of the artists I was collaborating with and they, you know, the painting process and how, you know, he was mixing his paints and then putting on to canvas. But for me, my canvas is a dress form. And I just thought, why not? Why not have a play? So I brought some fabric back from the Philippines from some social impact work that I did um, and I began to cut it into pieces and then putting it onto sort of my equivalent of a palette. And then I started to pin it onto the dress form and moving it around. And then eventually using the invisible thread that then goes back and sews it together. Um, it was actually my way of um, sewing because I'm not technically as strong in terms of, you know, construction. And that's my journey of learning all those methods. I even created a school so I can find teachers to teach this to me and to many other um, students that are interested and that's called Sew Bromo. Um, so anyway, the ladies are coming together. I actually came up with names for them. Here's the very first one that I've been working on um, and her name is Fern Lily. A, 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 few ha a few of you who are following me on my personal page know that I finished doing the um, about 60 miles on the Appalachian Trail and there's some kind of poking fun and saying that uh, you seemed very refreshed, you seem very inspired by nature and yes that's true. Um, but the name Fern Lily comes from a trip I did to Ireland where I was just surrounded by so much green and sort of that combination of um, fern and lily. Here we have, she's still in process, but her name is Midnight Willow. Um, there was a singer named Mariah Bonar. She was doing a um, rehearsal. Um, she's a French, well, she's, she's from Baltimore, but she sings a lot of French cabaret music and jazz. And she was singing a song about uh, Midnight and the a Weeping Willow, which is one of my favorite trees. So I've decided to call this little lady Midnight Willow. Thank you so much for all your questions. I will hope to answer them here. Uh, so one question was, um, where did the name Museum Dress Collection come from? And it came from this little lady here. Her name is the Duchess of Baltimore. And I actually made her in a museum in the garment loft in Baltimore. Um, same process, hand cutting and sewing. And um, what was special about that is that particular museum it was modeled after an old garment loft and it never had a garment made in it. It had all these old sewing machines. So that's what I did. I sat uh, in the back corner and I created this dress, which I have to do some finishing touches on it. Um, Thank you, Kristen, so much for your question. Um, uh, Kristen asked uh, what's gonna happen to the dresses after Sustainable Fashion Week. Well, I will carry on to complete a, a total of six dresses 
for the Royal Kabaya Museum dress collection and that will travel um, to Bali, Indonesia first and do uh, a sort of a temporary um, exhibition showcase and then that will then go to Jakarta, Indonesia. Um, details will um, come up once everything is finalized with dates and everything. Thank you for joining me here at Madison House and I look forward to sharing more of this journey with you. And feel free to also um, add comments and questions and I can answer them in our upcoming um, videos. Have a great day.